Okay, here's what we'll do is a quick tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud 2015. It's going to be on time remapping, how to slow things down and get a really cool effect. A lot of the videos I see are just way too detailed. So I know you can fast forward or rewind it all you want to, but okay. I've got some fridge footage here I shot on a GoPro Hero at 240 frames per second. I'm going to drag this into my project. I'm going to find the spot that I want to cut in. And about right when the horse passes, is that's where I want it. Right there. Boom. And after the horse is bias, that's all I need. I'm going to drag this down into my timeline. I'm going to make this a little bigger so I can see everything a little better. Because this effect is a little bit different than, than most of the effects I've seen. So uh, you... you Right click the effect, that little FX button there in the top of your footage, time remapping, go to speed. Okay. Now we're going to come to our partner footage that we want to start slowing things down and it's about as the horse gets right up on us right there. I think that's good. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to effect control, time remapping, I'm going to drop a keyframe. And then after the horse gets by us, I'm going to drop another keyframe. Now, with most of the effects and stuff, you can go right here and you can change that from 100. You can't on this one. Don't know why. Uh, so, down here in your little window, you see that little line there that made when we did the time remapping. I'm going to drag that down to it says about 20%. Let's go to 15%. Okay, there we go. So, what that did, I want to disable the audio because it doesn't stretch the audio for you. So, I'll mute the track. So, our horse comes up on us, slows down. Really cool. And then he speeds back up. Uh, the other feature of this is easing your way into it. See these two little handles there? If I spread that one, spread them apart, now it'll ease into the effect a little bit. It won't be so abruptly slowed down. So I can make it ease in as much as I want to. Makes for a cool effect. So it's bigger there for you. Let you see the horse a little better. Do its thing. So I'm gonna put a link um, on here to the video where I added some of found sound effects and some color correction and things to that video so you can get an idea of what you can do with it. Alright, thanks for watching.